All right, so in order to make a piggy bank, you have formed your shape, whatever it may be, and we have the shape uh, smooth as we want it, uh, paddled, we're ready to cut the slit for the coins for your piggy bank. So a quarter is probably about as big as coin is what you're gonna need. You'll need to make it larger than that. And then we're also gonna cut a hole in the bottom so you're able to get your money back out. Um, and then you have to put some type of foot on the bottom because as you can see, these kind of weevil around a lot. Um, and you don't want them to fall over because they could break. So we will start with the slit on the top. Now you don't have to have your piggy bank like this. You could turn it to the side. It's totally up to you. Don't, you could turn it into a figurine. Um, but what you want to do, flip this around so we can see. At the top here, you're going to take your coin. And what you're going to do with the coin is you're going to kind of just roll it across. Okay, like that to give you an idea of how big you want the slit to be and you want to try and kind of center it. If you make a mistake you can always take that out. Okay and then what you're going to do is hold the coin and you're just going to kind of cut around it because keeping in mind that the clay shrinks as it dries and you want to try and get it as rectangular as you can. And you can kind of start the shape. And then in your tool bag, I would maybe take, you can hear the air come out when you poke it through. Uh, in your tool bag, you have a loop tool. Okay. This is a lube tool where it's got a little wire loop around it. And what you can do is you can take this and go in. These pieces here we could save for slip. And you can just kind of dig this shape out and shape it up some. If it falls in, don't worry because when we cut the hole in the bottom, you'll be able to take that out. try and clean this up as much as you can because these little pieces of clay if you leave them there they will become sharp and solid okay so you might want to get a paintbrush or a sponge you can just take a wet paintbrush and just kind of smooth those areas out Now some people have said, well, what if I have a dollar? Well, piggy banks don't have a dollar slot usually. What you do is you just fold it up and you want to double check that the coin's going to fit in there and it does. And then make sure that you give me my coin back. And then the next thing that you'll do is flip this over on the bottom. And then we're ready to do the, the hole for the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to flip this over. And on the bottom here, it doesn't have to be a huge um, hole, but you want it bigger than a quarter definitely so that the money will come out easier and we're not going to plug these off We don't have a plug for them. All we're going to do is put duct tape over them I have piggy banks that were manufactured from a factory at home for my kids <clears throat> And before you press this the whole way through you might want to take a tool and put it through there so you can get it out and We still duct tape them because they just don't fit together correctly Okay, so once you get it cut the whole way through, kind of pick it out. If it falls in, it's not a big deal. We'll have to wait till it shrinks and then try and get it out. And then you can use your sponge to go around here and smooth that out. You don't ever want to leave like little pieces of clay like that there because they'll stay like that and then they become solid and sharp and they could cut the people who are using the tools or your piggy bank. All right, so around the bottom here, we want to put some type of feet. So you want to have fresh clay. I have a fresh chunk of clay that I wedged. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put little um, spherical shapes for feet. You could also roll a coil and put a foot on that way. I'm going to just take and make four balls of clay. So to do that, what I do, 
And you, when you roll the coil, you want to roll it out on just the plain table, not on canvas, because it'll take some of the moisture out of the coil. So I roll out a coil, and then I'm going to cut it into four pieces that are the same size, roughly. Then that way, your spherical pieces for your feet will end up being pretty much the same size, hopefully. Then you just take roll them into little spheres. They could be bigger than this. They don't have to be this small. And they don't have to be perfect. It's just something to help to give your pot some stability, your piggy bank. And then you just have to slip the area here where you scored at. Remember, scratch to attach and slip it to stick it. And then I take the spherical pieces and score them like so, and then I'm also going to slip them, and then attach them where they need to go. When you attach them, you can't just sit them down like that uh, because they will fall off. You want to make sure that you get a good connection and also that you clean the slip up around them. So you want to make sure that you kind of push them in a little bit and make sure you put your name on the bottom so right here I'm going to put Hannah make sure it's legible and my class ID, make it one, and you can flip this over. You can, I'm gonna make sure that it's kind of level. So in order to do that, you wanna kind of get down and pound it just a little bit like that. Then you can take a brush and kind of clean the slip up some. Some people wanna put designs on them. If you're one of those people, now would be the time to put a design on it but at this point you've met the requirements for the project. So, you're finished. <laughs>